this is a session of the 10th chapter that is the hollow alkenes and halorenes in this uh, chapter the topics will be studying in this session would be the classifications the nomenclature and the nature of cx bond now first uh, why are we studying hollow alkenes and halorenes what are they and uh, its uh, other things so the replacement of a hydrogen atom with everybody knows the hydrocarbon chain it, it consists of carbons and uh, hydrogen uh, forming a, a chain so the replacement of hydrogen atom in a hydrocarbon uh, that can be aliphatic or aromatic by halogen atoms results in the formation of alkyl halide that is haloalkane and aryl halide that is haloene respectively so haloalkanes contain halogen atoms attached to sp3 hybridized carbon atom of an alkyl group whereas haloarenes contain halogen attached to sp2 hybridized carbon atoms of an aryl group now we uh, know aryl and uh, alkyl uh, aliphatic and aromatic hydrocarbons now uh, when the hydrogen of these uh, carbon chains uh, they get detached and in place of hydrogen uh, uh, a halogen gets attached in uh, into it then it is uh, uh, named as haloalkane or haloarene or uh, 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 haloarene and uh, many halogen containing organic compounds occur in nature and some of these are clinically useful now these are uh, useful that is uh, the reason why we study them uh, these classes of compound find wide application in industries as well as in day to day life they are used as solvent for relatively non polar com uh, compounds as as starting materials for the synthesis of wide range of organic compounds now chlorine containing antibiotic chlorum uh, chlorum phenicol produced by soil organism microorganisms is very effective for the treatment of typhoid fever and our body produces iodine containing hormone thyroxine uh, thyroxine the deficiency of which is called goiter now we have studied uh, goiter uh, it is a, a problem in which the neck get, it gets swell uh, due to uh, deficiency of uh, iodine so iodine uh, what it does it produces uh, thyroxine hormone uh, with the iod uh, iodine thyroxine or hormone is being uh, synthesized uh, so the uh, def deficiency is called as goiter a uh, synthetic halogen compound that is chloroquine is used for the treatment of malaria halothane is used as anesthetic during surgery certainly uh, fully fluorinated compounds are being uh, considered as potential blood substitutes in the surgery so they are uh, used as blood substitutes in surgery so uh, these uh, are of uh, very great importance uh, all the halo uh, all the uh, these ha halogen compounds so that is the reason why we have haloalkane and haloarene uh, that is when organic matter uh, in or uh, they get in into organic matter then what happens and uh, how uh, they are classified nomen uh, nomenclature there and uh, the stuff so first of all the classification haloalkanes and haloarenes may be classified as follows that is on the number of uh, halogen atoms first is these may be classified as mono di or poly Uh, that is tri tetra etc uh, if it has one uh, halogen atom then it is named as mono if has if it has two uh, halogen atoms then tri, uh, di and more than two so it is known as poly that means tri tetra etc so compounds depending on whether they contain one two or more halogen compounds in the structure for example the first one it is known as mono halo alkane since it is a alkane single bonds and only one halogen x uh, b the halogen is attached so it is known as mono halo alkene and here di halo alkene the similar structure alkene now tri halo alkene three halogen atoms mono haloarene di haloarene and tri haloarene similarly so mono halo compounds may uh, further be classified according to the hybridization of the carbon atom to which the halogen is bonded as discussed below now uh, mono halo compounds may be uh, classified as the hybridization now this is the second uh, base of classification the first is the number of halogen compounds attached 
and now the second is uh, the hybridization that is compound containing sp3 cx bond that is uh, uh, an alkane so this class includes alkyl halides or haloalkanes uh, that of rx bond in alkyl halides the halogen atom is bonded to an alkyl group that is r they form a homologous series represented by chx they are n 2n plus 1 further classified as primary secondary or tertiary according to the nature of ca uh, carbon to which halogen is being attached so this is the primary first degree of uh, al uh, haloalkane in which c is sp3 hybridized and is attached to x this is secondary as two r dash uh, uh, groups are being attached to c and this is tertiary since three all the three uh, different alkyl groups are being attached with c so it is tertiary and allylic halides these are the compounds in which the halogen atom is bonded to an sp3 hybridized carbon atom next to uh, carbon carbon double bond in an allylic carbon so it can be presented as this or this in chain or in uh, in structure now benzylic halides if attached with a benzylic carbon then it is called benzylic halide it can be 1 degree 2 degree or 3 degree respectively compounds containing sp2 cx bond this class includes vinylic halides these are compounds in which the halogen atom is bonded to an sp2 hybridized carbon now if the carbon is sp2 hybridized then it is known as vinylic halide for example this all the carbons which in uh, to which x is being attached is sp2 hybridized now aryl halides if uh, these compounds are directly attached to the sp2 hybridized benzene that is an aromatic ring then it is known as aryl halides so these are the classification on the basis of uh, the first uh, the number of halogen atoms and second the carbon to which it is being bonded Uh, now nomenclature now how we uh, basically uh, nomen uh, clarize them that what we name them having learned the classification of halogenated compounds let us now learn how they are named uh, the common names of uh, alkyl halides are derived by naming the alkyl group followed by the halide now of uh, of course the first thing that is being uh, uh, written is the alkyl group always the number of carbon what it actually is uh, how many number of carbons are there if it is an alkane or uh, alkene alkyne uh, and then the halide that uh, chlorine bromine iodine fluorine etc now alkyl halides are named as halo sub uh, uh, halo substituted hydrocarbons in the iupac system of nomenclature now iupac uh, they gave uh, they gave nomenclatures so halorenes are the common as well as iupac names of aryl halides so halorenes is a iupac nomenclature for the aryl halides for dihalogen derivatives the prefixes o m and p are used in common system but in iupac system the numbers 1 2 or 1 3 or 1 4 are used so in uh, iupac common system we uh, usually uh, write in the common system where we specify the number at which uh, the halogen is being attached and to which uh, ortho meta para uh, the group is being attached the uh, halogen group so first of all we have an example of normal propyl bromide propane it is it is uh, having propane single bonded propane and bromine is attached now common name is alkyl halide so what we uh, write is n propyl bromide alkyl and bromide since the chain is normal propane so we write alkyl propyl that is n propyl bromide so this is the common name and this is also accepted in the iupac uh, nomenclature and second is the iupac name so it is being attached to the first carbon so what what we write is one bromo propane so in iupac uh, system uh, we write the first uh, thing that is the uh, halogen uh, attached and second the uh, alkane group the alkyl group so this is one bromo propane we start the numbering from where 
the uh, halogen is being located now here the halogen is here so we count 1 2 3 and from other side 1 2 3 the number uh, this this group is getting is 2 so we will write 2 chloropropane or in the normal we will write isopropyl chloride since this is an iso formation and this is a normal probation uh, normal uh, uh, normal configuration this is uh, iso position so we will write isopropyl chloride in common name whereas in uh, IUPAC name we will write 2 chloro since attached with the second carbon 2 chloropropane now for this we have 4 carbon atoms so this is in uh, common name we will write butyl uh, and this is isobutyl formation so we will write isobutyl chloride in as common name and uh, if we count 1, 2, 3, then uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we have to take all the groups. So, 1, 2, 3, uh, the chlorine, the halogen group has more uh, superiority when naming. So, what we write is 1 chloro, 2 methyl propane. So, this is how we name them. Now, bromobenzene, we can, uh, we know from the IUPAC system that what we uh, do is we write haloarene that is bromo and arene is benzene so bromo benzene as common name uh, or IUPAC name we write uh, bromo benzene so this is common for both now what here happens is uh, we uh, have bromine in the or uh, in the as the main uh, halogen and in the meta position we also have bromine so uh, the common name it will be meta dibromobenzene so one bromine here one bromine here on the meta position so di meta dibromobenzene or if we have to write in uh, normal uh, in IUPAC name so one two three so at the first carbon it is attached and at the third carbon it is, it is attached so we will write one three dibromobenzene since, uh, since there are two bromine uh, halogens since there are two bromine uh, atoms so we will write dibromo and this is a, a bromine on two bromine on meta position and one at the head so what we will write we will uh, write symmetrical tribromobenzene since three bromines are there and attached to the benzene group so we will write symmetrical tribromobenzene or one two three four five six so we will write one three five tribromobenzene now for this compound 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 4 5 so we have a pentane ring uh, so the IUPAC name will be 1, 2, 3, 3 uh, 1 chloro 2 dimethyl propane since we have 2 methyl groups on second carbon so we will write 1 chloro 2, 2 dimethyl propane and for this we have uh, the same as this 2 bromo propane these are the examples uh, and uh, you can go through various other questions for a reference and this is the uh, way of uh, naming them. The dihaloalkanes uh, having the same type of halogen atoms are named as alkylidene or alkylene dihalides. The dihalo compounds having same type of halogen atoms are further classified as geminal halides that is halogen atoms are present at the same carbon and vicinal halides that is halogen atoms are present on the adjacent carbon atoms in common name system gem halides are used as alkylidene halides or vicinal dihalides are named as alkylene dihalides in IUPAC system they are named as dihaloalkanes now what happens uh, we can uh, write it as alkylene dihalide if we have two halides on the same carbon or at two other positions so what we write is this is a ethane chain so alkylene so we will write it is ethylene di uh, ethylidine and then dihalide so we have uh, chloride or gem dihalide we can uh, write geminal if the same carbon atom and vicinal if are present on the adjacent carbon atoms or uh, in IUPAC name we will write 1 1 dichloro ethane and uh, for this we will uh, we have geminal we have uh, we have vicinal uh, position so we will write uh, ethylene dichloride or vicinal dihalide uh, or we will write 1 2 dichloroethane so we will write
these are the structures and common name and IUPAC name of some important compounds we have to go through each uh, we have it on the second carbon is counting from there because we have to uh, get the group on the minimum position so we have it on second so two chlorobutane IUPAC name and secondary butyl chloride as a common name for this we have it on the first carbon and uh, the second carbon it has two carbon uh, methyl groups so we'll write one bromo 2 2 dimethyl propane or neopentyl bromide since it is a uh, neo position for the third we will write 2 bromo 2 methyl propane as we have the, the bromine on the second uh, carbon since counting uh, we have to get the maximum number of carbon so in the chain we'll get the maximum number of carbon like this and on the second the bromine would be there and a methyl group will be there so we'll write 2 bromo 2 methyl propane and here we have a uh, vinyl chloride since it is attached to sp2 uh, car hybridized carbon so we'll write vinyl chloride or chloroethene here also it is attached to the allylic carbon so we'll write allyl, allyl bromide or 3 bromopropene here we have a uh, toluene and chlorine attached to toluene so, uh, so we can write all ortho chlorotoluene or we can write 1 chloro 2 methyl benzene or 2 chloro toluene uh, we have a uh, chloride here so we can write uh, on benzyl position so we can write benzyl chloride or chlorophenyl methane and here we have ch2cl2 that is methylene chloride or dichloromethane chcl3 is known as chloroform or trichloromethane chbr3 is known as bromoform or uh, tribromomethane and ccl4 is carbon tetrachloride or tri uh, tetrachloromethane and uh, ch3 ch2 ch2f is normal propyl fluoride or one fluoropropane so these are there some uh, another examples now the nature of cx bond now since halogen atoms are electronegative than carbon we have studied this so the carbon halogen bond of alkyl halide is polarized now what happens it is more electronegative so it attracts the pair of uh, electrons from carbon towards itself and uh, polarizes the bond so the carbon atom bears a partial positive charge whereas the halogen atoms bears a partial negative charge because it attracts the electrons towards itself so electron density uh, on x that is the halogen will increase and the electron density on uh, carbon atom will decrease so the partial uh, charges they occur since the size of halogen atom increases as we go down the group in the periodic table Fluorine atom is the smallest and iodine atom the largest. Consequently, the carbon halogen bond also increases from CF to CI. Some technical bond lengths and bond enthalpies are given. And uh, you know, uh, fluorine is the most electronegative uh, atom. So, it has the most uh, partial charges, the most negative and positive partial charges, uh, as it has the smallest size and more uh, Z effective. So it attracts the electron density from carbon towards itself and uh, forms uh, partial charges more effectively than that of iodine. Since uh, iodine has a larger structure and it cannot pull with that much force uh, as that of fluorine. So this is it for the session. Uh, for more information, log in into webcoach. And uh, you may also refer class 12th NCRT textbook for further information. Thank you.